Hey, hey, welcome to mindfulness. Hello, guys. Good to see you all. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. We're going to begin mindfulness in just a couple of minutes, guys. And then we're going to keep the room open for our open mic session. So, yeah, for anyone who wants to stay on and just hang out, get to know each other, unmute, all of that good stuff, then you're very welcome to, to stay. We usually have a nice group of people who hang out. So, yeah, do stay on. My name is Sol. I'm a member of the study stream team. Hello. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think there was a problem with the last uh, open mic. I think it was my fault, I apologize. I didn't realize I was full on host for that session. So when I left, the whole room shut down. So yeah, apologies. I will pass over the host before I leave. Nice. If anyone's here for the first time, do let us know, pop it in the chat box. So we have mindfulness now. And then if anyone would like to join me for a study stream method session after, uh, it, will, it will start at 4 p.m. UK time. So that's an hour from now. Then that is a guided study session. So if you've got a few things you need to get done, then it's an hour together where we work together, take a break together, keep each other motivated and accountable. So do hang out. You come along. Nice. So yeah, I'm a community manager at Study Stream, so it's my job to um, run a lot of our events and get to know you guys a little bit, see what you're looking for, what we can do to uh, make life good. And so yeah, we run mindfulness, we run journaling, we run the study stream method sessions. If you look in the calendar, the link to which I will share at the end of the session, you'll see there are some new events going in. A plan the week on a Monday and a review the week on a Friday. So maybe I'll see some of you guys there. And yeah, I'm a mindfulness coach as well. So we run these mindfulness sessions. Why do we run mindfulness? Let's give it a little introduction before we go into our guided practice, because mindfulness is what I think of as a super skill. It's like the skill of all skills. It's the skill that every other skill that we learn is built upon. It is the skill of learning how to control our attention and to be aware of what's going on in the moment, both within us. So the emotions, the feelings that are going on inside us, the different thoughts that are running through our minds but also an awareness of what's going on around us using our different senses to really notice what we can see, what we can hear, what we can smell and taste and touch to fully engage with the moment. And when we train our minds to be more present and aware in this way, it tends to make life a little bit more enjoyable and within our control as well, we're less thrown around by the different thoughts and emotions that happen to be present for us at that time. And we get to be more in control. We get to decide how we respond to situations rather than simply react in ways that are not of our choosing, but ways that kind of maybe we've been kind of built up to react or things that have just automatically happened, ways of being that we've developed as part of our personality. So by becoming aware of all of this stuff, it really is something that's empowering and can help us in all other aspects of life. So that's a little introduction to mindfulness. To practice it, we can meditate. Uh, meditation is something a little bit like a gym for our mind. So just like we might go to the gym for our physical bodies, the health and strength and en endurance of our physical bodies, we practice meditation to become more mindful. And that's what I'm gonna guide us through right now. So all we need to do to begin, it's not really a lot for sitting down, that's great. We can just give our bodies a little stretch guys. We really notice when we practice mindfulness how oh, entwined our minds and bodies are, the more flexible and limber and open our bodies are, the more we tend to notice that's reflected in our minds. And my window open at the moment, <laughs> you can hear all of the seagulls and birds. We can integrate that into the practice. Don't worry about that as a distraction. Okay, so now we've had a little stretch. You can just let the body settle down, become still, sit up nice and tall and straight. 
you can just allow the eyes to gently close. So we bring our attention inwards. And let's just spend a moment really getting familiar and comfortable in our posture. So really feel the weight of your body on the chair, really feel supported by it. Notice the feet on the floor, sense of stability, of groundedness, of balance. The arms and the hands are just resting gently in your lap. Allow the shoulders to be held down by gravity. So if you notice there's some tension in the shoulders, they've risen up a little bit towards the ears, that's okay, but on the next out breath, just let them fall down. You can lengthen the spine by sitting up tall, not too rigid or straight. I want to tuck your chin in slightly, just a little, so the neck is long. So just for a few moments, just enjoy sitting like this. The way that we sit has a big impact on the way that we feel. just notice if there's anywhere in the body you feel tension. It could be anywhere from the feet to the hands, the belly, the shoulders, maybe the face. Simply by becoming aware of the tension, you can learn to let it go. Just following the journey of your breath in and out of the body. Feeling it come in at the nostrils, down through the throat, into the chest, and also feeling the belly inflate like a balloon as you breathe in, pull back inwards as you breathe out. And just join the breath on its journey, in and out, up and down. We get distracted, just remembering this practice of mindfulness is one we set an intention to be kind and curious to ourselves, developing a relationship with ourselves that is helpful, that is enjoyable. So there's no need to get frustrated, no need to make any judgment. We practice simply bringing our attention back to the breath.
when our mind wanders, it gives us the opportunity to practice mindfulness, to become aware of where it went, not pay it too much attention, then just come back again. The breath moving in and out. So just like we can pay attention to the movement of the body as we breathe, we can also turn our attention outwards. We can imagine our body is like a microphone and listen to the sounds taking place all around us. So just notice any and all sounds, whether they are coming from far away or nearby. From all directions, in front and behind, to the sides or above or below. Whether it's coming from your surroundings or through my microphone, just being open to all of it. As always with mindfulness, being curious about the experience. Really tuning into the sound, its volume, its duration, its pitch, whether it's high or low. Whether it sounds harsh or soft. seeing if there are any sounds within those sounds, really going deep into them with curiosity. Noticing if there are any brief moments of silence or relative quiet between the sounds. In this way, we learn to pay attention in the present moment, bit by bit, to whatever's going on both within us and around us. Develop the ability to concentrate and focus our attention where we want it to be, when we want it to be there. It allows us to get the most out of each moment, to fully appreciate everything that's taking place. 
and to also not get quite so easily hijacked by challenging emotions and thoughts. We can more quickly notice what's happening, take a step back and just observe. And so before we conclude this practice, taking your attention back into the body, having a sense of the whole body sitting here, noticing your posture, letting go of any tension if it's crept in, Just feeling the flow of air coming in and out of the body, one breath at a time. So, with the sound of the bell, we can just Move the body a little bit, like how we began. A gentle stretch, feeling into the body, noticing what movement it would appreciate. And as you move, maintaining that mindful attention. Just like we felt the breath moving in the body, we can feel the body moving in all the different places as we stretch and as we massage. When you're ready, you can slowly start to open up the eyes. And come back onto screen. So guys, that was our guided meditation for today. In a moment, we will open up for the open mic session. But before we do that, we always have the chat box open for reflections, reports, feedback. As always, it's our opportunity to share how that practice felt, what you noticed. Feel free to let us know how it was to pause in the middle of your day. If your mind felt busy or quite relaxed. How did the body feel? Did it feel relaxed or tense? Were there lots of thoughts? What sounds did you hear and how difficult was it to keep your mind open and receptive to all the different sounds? Joe Pads feels that mindfulness is better than vaping. I would agree, Joe Pads. Thank you for that. Uh, Janice Marie, thank you. That was helpful. Thank you for coming. Salsa Bill got distracted again, but felt good. Salsa Bill, as always, you are very likely to always get distracted when you do this. So don't you worry about it. There's no need to set an expectation that you're gonna sit here for 10, 15 minutes in bliss and undistracted, undivided attention. It's not how our minds work. The important point is that you can kind of just laugh at it, which it seems like you're doing. Yeah. Oh, my mind got distracted again. Yep, shows that I'm human. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. That's kind of the attitude we're looking for. So looks like you're there. Amina, I've really needed this relaxation. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Amina. I'm good to see you here. Stacey, as I get busier and busier these days, setting aside time for mindfulness makes it much more meaningful. Yeah, I can totally relate to that. Thank you, Stacey. Lily, quite relaxed. There are a few builders here, so I noticed how you can hear the different machines individually when focusing. Yeah, beautiful. That's it. Sounds within sounds. Sounds between the differences between sounds. It's so much of the time our experience just feels like one big kind of blob of experience. And then you start really paying attention and you can break it down. And when it comes to like machinery and building, it doesn't feel like that important a skill. But actually, it's really, really, really helpful training, because if we can start to do that to the sounds going on around us, we can start to do that to the thoughts and the feelings that are going on inside of us. And when we can do that, it's incredibly helpful. 
And also even with sounds itself, um, okay, again, like with the building, it might not feel that important, but often sounds that we would often get frustrated by when we can be a little bit more curious and less judgmental and tune into them, they start to annoy us less, you know, often like these is what we call annoying sounds. They, once we get into them, we can find them interesting. And then all of these experiences that go on in the world, we turn them from frustrating and annoying into just the sound itself. There's, there's a lack of judgment. There's just an interest and a curiosity. But not just that, sometimes those sounds might be of beautiful birds that are singing and we don't take the time to really appreciate and hear it. So when we, appreciate, when we, when we apply that same skill to really pleasant experiences, we can get a lot more out of them and enjoy them. So yeah, thank you, Lily, really good feedback, nice. Okay, Isadora, second time here in a long time. It's hard to keep my mind still, but working on that. Yeah, no worries at all. Keeping our mind still is difficult. Uh, I was feeling mentally low. It's helped me a lot. Thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm glad it helped a little bit. Oh, sorry we didn't have you earlier, Coco. No worries. Good to have you now. I'm sure you're joining with open mic. Uh, Salsa has an exam in a bit, so I was thinking about that, of course. Uh, thank you, Coco. All ready and dressed up. Ready for celebration. Oh, for Diwali? Of course it is. Yes. Happy Diwali to everyone. Zainab, enjoyed it, Coco. Oh, you've even said it there. Happy Diwali. Yes. Cool. Nice. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you for joining. So I'm going to leave the room open so you guys can just hang out. You can unmute and just get to know each other a little bit. We have a bunch of regulars here, so you can get to know them as well. And for some of you, maybe I will see you in what will be 40 minutes for the final study stream method session of the day, which is our guided study session. So if you need to get some stuff done, come and join me there. Other than that, check out the events page, which uh, we will